Hello, 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 students of the English language. Good evening, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. How are hello, you? Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And you? I'm happy, I'm excited to see you, to hear you, to be with you, to help you, to start this class right now. So thank you for your punctuality. Thank you very much for being a very responsible students. All right. And well, I know, I know it's a difficult journey. The schedule is difficult also. Yeah. yeah. It's at night. It's a night schedule. The energy is not the same like in the morning. In the morning is different, right? Your body, your mind is fresh. But at night is more difficult. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go over some oral practice. Yes, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Yeah, what what did we study yesterday? Deduction. Mm, deduction of do and does was in the previous class. <clears throat> but yesterday we studied WH questions with do and does. Do you remember? Yes, a little, teacher. A little? So, yeah. what do you do, guys? I'm businessman. In the article, I am a. I am a businessman. 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 Man, businessman. Man is singular. Man is plural. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Only one student and the other students? What do you do, guys? What do you do? Only Juan Jose remembers the class. Okay, let me change the question, similar question. What's your job? What's your job? I business man in my, in my house. Still, es la misma pregunta. I am a businessman, sería la respuesta. Solo Juan José está eh, participando. No sé qué pasa con los demás. Right? Um, les había enseñado que podíamos usar tres tipos de preguntas. What do you do? What's your Where job? You no, espérate. Uh, no, solo para work, preguntar right? la misma. Eh, ¿A qué te dedicas? Oh, okay. Era, what do you do? What's your job? ¿Cuál es tu trabajo? What's your job? Y la otra es, what do you do for a living? La misma. Eh, And how do you like it? How do you like it? Es que tanto te gusta, que tanto lo disfrutas, pero esa viene al final, ya cuando has entrevistado a la persona, ya sabes a qué se dedica, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, for example, bueno, esas tres preguntas ya las tenemos que dominar, right? Las que vimos ayer. What do you do? Where do you work or study? And how do you like it? Pero vamos a hacer una pequeña prueba, ¿ok? We're going to do a little test. What do you do? Where do you study or where do you work? 
and how do you like it? Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, Juan José, tú vas a entrevistarnos a, vamos a ver, a Noelia. Noelia, are you there, Noelia? No. Vaya, entonces vas a entrevistar a Patricia. Are you there, Patricia? Hello. Good evening. Bueno, no hay fluidez. Tamar, are you there, Tamar? That tuve un bajón ahí de y, energía. I'm sorry. Ok, entonces, Teacher Caleb los va a entrevistar de nuevo. Vamos a ver, Claudia. You ready, Claudia? Hi, yes. Hi, Claudia. Good I'm evening. Ready. What do you do, Good Claudia? Evening. I am a graphic designer. Oh, yeah, I remember. You're a graphic designer. And um, where do you work? I work from house, from my house. Mm -hmm. From home. From home. From home. Yes. And how do you like it? I like it. You like it? You like yes. it a little? Or you like it very much? I like it very much. All right. Good to know. Great <laughs> job. That's it. Great job. Great job. Okay. Let me interview Gabriela. Ready, Gabriela? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Uh, so far, so good. Mm, good answer. Um, <laughs> tell me, what do you do? Uh, I am a gardener. Okay. And where do you work? <laughs> I work in a little store, Tigo Money. Okay. And how do you like it? I love it. Excellent, excellent. Vimos las respuestas, eh, justas esas respuestas, ¿verdad? Para decir, me encanta, me gusta, está bien, mm, no lo tolero, lo odio, right? Etc. Good job, good job. Eso es lo que yo espero de todos. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Who else do we have? Quiero escucharlos a ustedes. Marlon, are you there, Marlon? Yeah. Okay, Marlon, you will interview one classmate. Elena, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Go for it, Marlon. Okay. Um, good evening. The first question is, uh, what do you do? I am a student from uh, English Academy. Um, where do you study? Where do you study? I study. At English Academy. At an, at an, let me put that, I study, I study at an English Academy. Can you repeat that now? Check the chat, check the chat. I study. I study at an English Academy. Okay, um, how do you like it? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, okay, Marlon, you, you can interview her back. Interview Elena back now. Go ahead. Yes, Marlon, it's your turn. Yes. Um, Hey. 
Marlon. What do you do? Um, I am an English student. Student. Where do you study? Correct. I study, I study at an English academy. How do you like it? I really love it. Wow, I can see that. I can see Elena. And what is the name of the English Academy you study at? In English Corporation. Ese es un nombre propio, okay? Entonces vas a decirlo así, okay? It's a proper yes, noun. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, that's right. It's a proper noun. Good job. Good practice. I like it. Good job, Marlon. Trabaja en tu en tu deducciones. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Where do you study? Where do you study? Busca la deducción. Andrea, are you there, Andrea? Andrea? Yes, teacher, I am here. Vámonos con Sabrina. Are you there, Sabrina? Yes, teacher, I'm here. All right, go for it. Uh, ¿Quién comienza, teacher? Me. Yeah, you can start. Okay, este, hi, good evening. What do you do? I am a student. Okay, where do you study? I am a study in the National University. How do you like it? Yes, I really like it. Okay. Excellent. Switch now. Switch it now. What do you work? What do you? Mm, repeat the question. What do you do? What do you do? Trabaja en tu deducción. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I am a lawyer. Where do you work? I work at a office an office and an office an, an office an office unilo an office an office otra vez an office an office unilo an, an office. office an office an, an, an office <laughs> y ahora vamos a decir an in office an office in, in an office in an in office, an office. In, in an, an office. office. Todos, in todos. An office. In an office. I work in, in an, an office. office. In an office. I work in, in, an work work in an office. Perfecto, perfecto. In an office. In an office. In an office. Next. How do you like it? I love it. Muy buena pronunciación en la última. How do you like it? How do you like it? Escuchemos a dos caballeros, ¿les parece? Vámonos con Will. You ready, Will? Ready, teacher. And Ovidio. You ready, Ovidio? Yes, teacher. Let's go for it. Ahora, perdón. How do you, how do, you do? Repeat, repeat. How, oh, perdón, Will, perdón, perdón. What, what are you do? Are, uh, uh today we're using the auxiliary do. What do? Uh, what do you do? What do you do? What, pardon. What do you do? I am a student. Repeat, Will. Repeat, Will. I am a student. Oh, I'm a student. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, where do where where do you work? Study. I study at 
and English Academy. Academy. How oh, do you like it? Like it. Like it? I really like it. Okay, switch now, Will. Go ahead, it's your turn now. Okay, teacher. Okay, your video, uh, what do you do? I am a student. student. A student. I am I a student. student. I am a student. Correct. Where do you where do you study? In a national university. How do you like it? I really like. like I really like it. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent job. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ok, ya vimos dónde vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Esas deductions. What do you do? Where do you work? Lastimosamente no podemos quedarnos mucho en este tema, pero uh, you guys need to keep practicing y no nos acostumbremos solo al what, al what do you do, ¿verdad? Porque mañana les puedo preguntar what's your job a manera de práctica, ¿verdad? What's your job, que sería lo mismo. O oh, what do you do for a living? Que sería lo mismo, right? Siempre tendrían que decir ustedes, I am a student, I am a lawyer, I am a graphic designer. Yeah. I have a question for you guys. But the question is in third person. Si voy a hacer una pregunta in third person usando action verbs, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que voy a usar? ¿Voy a usar das o voy a usar tú? Das. 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 Okay. Das. You guys have You guys have brothers, sisters, correct? You have brothers or sisters? Yeah? Yes. yes. No. Let me ask you. No, no. Okay, for the ones who don't have brothers and sisters, uh, let me ask you about your mother or your father, okay? Now, my question is, attention, my question is, what does your brother do? Or, or what does your sister do? do or what does your father or your mother do do i have a volunteer it's in third person that's why i'm using das por eso es que en la respuesta ustedes tienen que hacer algo con ese verbo verdad yeah it's in tercera persona todo okay so for example My sister, I have a sister, right? So my sister is a kindergarten teacher. Mm -hmm. What about what about your brother or sister? What does your brother do? What does your sister do? Can you tell me? My sister is an engineer. Engineer? Engineer, yes. Okay, digamos, engineer. Engineer. In engineer. Engineer comienza con vowel sound. ¿Cuál es el artículo? A or an. An. An engineer. An engineer. An engineer. <laughs> yes. A ver, Andrea, ¿y cómo se decía en una oficina? In an office. <laughs> oh, you got it, girl. Muy bien. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? What does your brother do? What does your sister do? My sister is a secretary. Nice, nice. And and where does she work, Elena? Where does your sister work? My sister, my sister works at in a company. Si me pusiste la S en work, works. My sister yes. works. Works. In a company. Yes. In a company. My sister works in a company. Thank you. And, and how does she like it? I think um, she, she likes it. She likes it. Repeat, guys. She likes it. She likes it. She likes, she likes it. it. Conjuguemos esa, esa, esa parte. Conjuguemos esa parte usando el verbo like. Usando el verbo like. I like it. Repeat, I like it. I like, I, like I like it. 
like it. You like it. Ah, huh? you like it. Repeat. You like it. You, you like, like it. it. You like it. He likes it. Con ese. He likes it. He likes it. He likes it. Like, like, like. Tercera persona. Likes. 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 Base. Base is like. He likes. Like. I like. I like it. I like it. You like it. You like, you it. like it. it. You like it. We like it. We like it. Mm, we, we like, like it. it. We like it. We like it. We like, like it. it. Um, they, they like it. They like, they like it. it. They like it. They like Ahora, it. persona. They he like likes it. Likes. He likes. He likes it. Likes. Likes. Like it. He likes, he he likes. Tengo miedo con ese verbo, guys, porque um, el verbo mentir se dice lie. Solo lie. Lie es mentir. Tercera persona es lies. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando alguien dice, le voy a dar un lie, dice, lie es mentira. ¿Ah? Like. Like. Con K. Liberada, release. Like. Ahora, en la like. tercera persona, likes. 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 A ver. Likes. 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 Yes. Si me dicen likes, es que son mentiras. Right? <risa> Estamos diciendo el verbo mentir en tercera persona. Entonces hay que ponerle ese... Eso es la pronunciación, right? Pronunciation. Entonces, conjuguémoslo de nuevo. ¿Listos? I like it. I like, I it. like it. I like it. You like it. You like it. He likes it. He likes it. She likes it. It, it likes it. We 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 like it. We like it. They they like it. They like it. They like it. They like it. A ver, ayúdenme ustedes con el verbo. I love it. I love it. I love it. Excelente. You. You, you love, love it. it. You love, you it. love it. it. Te encanta. Te fascina. You love it. He, he love it. He love it. He love it. A ver, a ver, a ver. He, he loves it. He loves it. Correcto. I love. Le vamos a poner la S. He loves it. He, he loves, loves it. it. A él le fascina. He loves it. He, he loves it. She? She loves it. She loves it. It? It loves it. It loves it. It loves it. We? We love it. We love it. We love it. Excellent. We love it. We love it. They? Love it. They love it. Excelente, guys. Thank you so much. Bueno, vámonos entonces a placement of adjectives. Ese es nuestro tema de ahora. Placement of adjectives. Always practice your English, guys. Always practice your English. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, perfect. Let me maximize this. Let's watch this video. Pay attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title that's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. 
I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a article. singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A. Then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs, and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okie dokie. So we're going to practice here the conversation. You ready? First, do you have any question about this conversation? Do you have any vocabulary, any unfamiliar expression? No questions for the teacher? Excelente. Entienden todo a la perfección, ¿verdad? All right. Entonces, um, I have a question for you. Um, can you identify all the adjectives in this conversation? Let's go. Adjectives. 
can you identify the adjectives in this conversation? I hear you have a new job. Okay, new is an adjective. Yes, Juan. Dame solo adjectives. A ver, give me only adjectives. ¿Qué otro adjective hay? Dangerous. Dangerous. Repeat. Dangerous. Dangerous. Stressful. Stressful. Is it not the adjective? Yes. Stressful. Great no is a, no no is an adjective. Great is an adjective. Yes, it is, Miss. Is an adjective. Great. Exciting. 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 ¿Cuál otro? Terrific. Ter terrific. Terrific. Se parece a terrible, pero en realidad es un adjetivo positivo. Terrific. Terrific. Bad. Bad, correcto. Bad. Excelente, guys. Good job. Vamos a practicar entonces. Let's practice. Teacher Caleb will interpret Stephanie. Students will interpret Richard. Students, start with Richard on three, two, one, go. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. I hear you, I hear you, have, you have, have a new job. You have a new job. Yep. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. These students are terrific. How are things with you? No, no, no. That's exciting. Yes. Sometimes. And sometimes. Sometimes. It's sometimes. Dangerous. 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 I will start now. I am Richard. You will be Stephanie on three, two, one. Let's go. Hi, Hi Stephanie. Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. 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 And how do you like it? It's great. 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 It's all right, vamos acá en it's great. Repeat, it's great. It's, it's great. great. It's great. The students it's great. are terrific. The students are terrific. Terrific, no, no es terrible, no, al contrario, es genial. Right? Es, es, es affirmative. A ver, esta pregunta me fallaron un poquito. ¿Cómo están las cosas contigo? How are things? Things. Z al oh, principio, oh, S al final, things. How are things? How, 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 how are things? How are things? How are things? Otra vez. With, 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 with you. With you. With you. With you. How, how are things with you? How are things with you? With, 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 with you. With, with you. With you. With you. How are things with you? How are things with you? I have a question. I have a question for you guys. What does what does Richard do? What Richard? Can you repeat, please? Sure, sure. What what does Richard do? 
Uh, he is a fighter. Fight. He is a fighter. Yes. He is a fighter. Fighter. Excellent. Excellent. And where where does Richard work? Uh, he works in a station. <laughs> works, correcto. He works at the fire station. Otra vez. He, he works, works, works at the fire station. And how does, how does Ricardo like it? Um, um, it's it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not it's bad. Not bad. It's yeah, not it's not bad. bad. Yeah. Okay. What about Stephanie? What does Stephanie do? He is a teacher. He or she? She is a teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Beautiful. She's a teacher, okay. And where does she work? She, she works, works at Lincoln. Tercera persona and work. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? She works. She works. She works. She works at Lincoln High School. And how does she like it? How does she like it? It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Qué buen trabajo. Right. Bueno, ahora vamos al placement of adjectives. Um, ¿Cómo vamos a usarlo? Acá está la fórmula con el verbo to be. Verb to be plus adjective. Vean, a firefighter, usamos el apostrophe para usar posesión. El trabajo de un bombero. Así me dice. El trabajo de. El trabajo de. A firefighters. A firefighters. Conocemos la S. A firefighters. Job is dangerous. Aquí se cumple la regla. Is es el verbo to be. El adjetivo es dangerous. Interpretación. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. Repeat. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A firefighter's job is dangerous. 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 La otra forma es usando adjective plus noun. El noun va a ser job y el adjetivo, pues ustedes saben, debe ser como dangerous, stressful, difficult, easy, etc. Vamos a comenzar con el artículo siempre. A firefighter y vamos a usar el verbo have en tercera persona. Has. Okay. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. A firefighter has. A dangerous job. Repeat. Let's go with doctor. A doctor's a doctor's, a doctor's, a doctor's job, job is, is, is stressful. 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 La otra forma. A doctor. A doctor has, 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 has a stressful has job. A stressful job. Ok, tomenme una foto ahí porque me van a hacer un ejercicio similar. Right? You got it? Va. Vaya, aquí nos están dando la primera fórmula. Quiero ver. Sí. Sería el artículo, a uh, or an, ¿verdad? El artículo, a uh, or an, más la profession. Vamos a ponerle acá la profession, así como acabe. A uh, más firefighter, o a uh, plus doctor. Y en la profession le vamos a poner possession. Apostrophe S. Después de eso, vamos a poner la palabra job. Como acá, right? Después de eso, el verbo to be, is. Y luego, el adjetivo. Dangerous en este caso. A doctor's job is dangerous. Ok. Bueno, la otra fórmula siempre iniciando con el article a or an. Y vamos a usar el uh, verbo 
have en tercera persona. Right? Has. Luego de eso, pues, usamos el trabajo, a dangerous, y luego el noun, que es job. Eh, vamos a usar estos adjetivos para practicar. Stressful. Ok, let's repeat. Boring. 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 Boring, boring, boring means boring, aburrido. Boring. 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 Easy. 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 Facilito. Easy. 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 Okay. Dangerous. 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 Peligroso. Exciting. 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 Emocionante. Difficult. 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 Stressful. 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 Difficult. Stressful. A ver ustedes acá. Boring. Boring. Muy bien. Boring. Boring. Ahora acá. Stressful. Sonido ese. Stressful. Stressful. Ok, repito over here. Dangerous. Dangerous. Perfect. Dangerous. Good pronunciation. Let's go here. Difficult. 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 Okay, let's go here. Exciting. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Entonces, si ocupamos uno de estos, okay, ocupamos uno de estos. Right? Y vamos a poner un ejemplo. Vamos a poner. No sé si van a estar de acuerdo, pero a manera de práctica. Vaya, esa es una fórmula. A DJ's job is exciting. La otra forma. A DJ has an exciting job. Dicho, dijo. ¿Mm? Va, ahí los tenemos. Ahí tenemos las dos formas. A DJ's, alguien que pone música, ¿verdad? Es jockey. A DJ's job is exciting. A DJ's job is exciting. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? El trabajo de una persona que pone música, right? Mezcla música, es emocionante. Y la otra forma, a DJ has an exciting job. Un DJ tiene, tiene un trabajo emocionante. All right, ustedes me dan sus opiniones. Les voy a dar dos trabajos y me hacen los dos ejemplos usando las dos formas, ¿ok? El primer trabajo va a ser singer. Me dan su opinión ahí, preparen sus respuestas. Right. Y el otro trabajo, let me see, let me see. Mm, I like it. Let me see. Va. Ahí tienen los dos trabajos. Trabajan entonces en sus ejemplos, justo como yo lo puse ahí, ¿verdad? En la primera, usando el verbo to be plus adjective. Y en la segunda, usando adjective plus noun. Vamos a darles, ¿qué? Six minutes. Six minutes. Y me van a leer por lo menos un ejemplo, right? Six minutes. Trabajenlos ahorita, pónganlos en sus apuntes, right? Y ténganme listos ejemplos, right? De sus ejemplos para la hora de la asistencia. 
Let me get ready. Six minutes, contando, six minutes. All right, I think you have some examples for me. Let me go the attendance at the same time. <clears throat> Here we go. Get your examples ready, please. Let's start with Alba Luz Cruz de Vasquez. Are you in the house? Not in class? Ooh. Andrea Elizabeth Gonzalez Burgos. Yes, teacher. All right, give us an example, please. Okay, a singer job is exciting. A singer has an exciting job. A police officer's 
job is dangerous, a police officer has a dangerous job. Mm -hmm. That's right. A singer's, a singer's, a singer, no? a singer's job is exciting. It, yes, a singer's job is exciting. A singer has an exciting job. An exciting, an exciting job. An exciting job. Thank you, Andrea. Well done, Carlos, David, eh, Lopez, Amaya. Are you there? Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Hi. Hi, go ahead. A singer's job is fun. A singer has a fun job. A police officer job is hard. A police officer. Police. A police has, officer. A police officer has a hard job. Correct. Correct. Thank you so much. Good job, Claudia, right? Yes. Thank you, Claudia. Let's go with Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. I'm here. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, a doctor has a hard job. And a doctor's job, job is hard. Excellent. Um, ¿Cuántos eran, perdón? Uno más. Okay. Um, uh, Teacher has a uh, amazing job. An amazing, an amazing, amazing job. Amazing job and a uh, teacher's job is amazing. Wonderful job, Daniela. Congratulations. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. I just want. Let's go. Present. Let's go, Diana. Okay. A singer's job yeah. is difficult. A singer has a good job. Okay. A police officer's job is dangerous. A police office has an exciting, no, exciting job. An exciting job. An exciting job. And the job is police officer. Officer. Oh, me come later. It's all right. It's all right. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Yes, teacher. I'm here. Go for it. Um, a singer's job is exciting. Okay. A singer has an exciting, exciting job. You a got police it. officer's job is dangerous. dangerous. Okay. A police officer has a difficult job. Definitely, yes. Thank you much, Elena. Let me go with Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodriguez. Missing in action, Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present teacher. All right, go for it. A singer's job is boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. Okay. A singer has a boring job. A police officer's officer. Officer's job is dan dan dangerous. 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 A police a police officer has a dangerous job. Acceptable girl. Acceptable Gabriela. Thank you. Hey Sir Rocio Pastrán de Henriquez. I think she's in test. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Do you have an example for us? No. No problem. Hey, sir. Teacher, a police officer is job desires, algo así? Or a police officer is this undesired job? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo ahí? Ah. Yeah. We got to practice that one, okay, hey, sir? Let me go with Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Tell us your example, sir. Yes, and my example are a uh, singer's job is amazing. Okay. Uh, singer has an amazing job. Wonderful. Uh, this uh, police officer's job is a uh, stressful. Mm -hmm. uh, police officer has a stressful job. Great, Juan Jose. You got it, my boy. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. 
Great job, man. Let me go with Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Oh, let me go with Carla Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Present teacher. One example only. Present. One example, please. Yes. Este, I think her job is exactly exciting. I Exciting. Y ponemos la S en singers. A singers. A singers. Job. 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 Exciting. Job. Job. As exciting. Está bien, Carla. Nos quedamos ahí por el tiempo. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Me mandas tu um, examples on the chat, ok? Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Laura? I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. You send me your examples in the chat, okay? Yes. A doctor's Marlo David work. Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. All right. Me mandas in the chat, okay? Your examples. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. You send me your examples in the chat, okay, Marvin? Okay. Okay, Noelia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present teacher. Disculpe, Pamela, teacher. Eh, está viendo de ahí en el chat de WhatsApp que Noelia Elizabeth Muñez, Núñez perdón, sí. eh, se había desconectado por el trabajo. Igual Pamela Alexandra Melara Coloche, la, la aplicación. Pamela Alexandra, excelente, gracias que me dijiste. Oh, video, thank you. Nada. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Aquí está. Aquí está. Ok, perfecto. Oh, video. En Pamela, Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Ok. And I have Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landa Verde también. Thank you. Present. Yes. Send me your chat on the WhatsApp, okay, your examples. Um, Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Tatiana Elise Ramos Gómez. Present teacher, Tamar. Present teacher. Tamar, okay, Tatiana. send me your yes, examples. Present. Tamar, Tatiana, thank okay. you. Um, Thelma Jamilet Hernández Mesquita. Present teacher. All right. Dilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. Perfect. Guys, los que no me dijeron el, el, um, el, um, el ejemplo, pues me lo van a mandar en el chat. También les compartí una canción que vamos a estar practicando el último día. La vamos a cantar. Practíquenla en su casa. Ahí está el link. Se los vuelvo a poner. Alguien que me lo ubique ahí en el WhatsApp chat as well. Link. Diga. Eh, no me mencionó. No sé, no me escuché. Carla Xiomara. Mande. Sí, ¿verdad? Hola. Eh, sí, le quería preguntar. Como yo solo le di un ejemplo. No sé si se lo mando también los demás o solamente si no quedamos. Sí, mándemelo, mándemelo, por favor, completo. Sí, eh, Carla, aquí te tengo, no hay problema. Guys, see you tomorrow. Yes. Have a good night, ¿ok? See sí, you tomorrow, tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, yeah. so long. Good night teacher. Bye. Night, night, everyone. Good bless, good bless, teacher. My pleasure. God bless you too, man. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teachers.